Hey guys, today I wanted to do a video all about how you can embroider on clothing. This video is going to be an informative video and I'm not gonna be showing a specific example of how to embroider on clothing, but there's a lot that goes into making sure that you make it as easy as possible for yourself and there's things that you can do to make your embroidery turn out better on clothing. So I just wanted to go over the basics today in this video. So first I wanted to talk about material that you can use. So I actually have a commission for this sweatshirt and the sweatshirt is, um, I think it's like a cotton blend. It doesn't say on here, but it is kind of stretchy. So there's a couple of things I'm gonna do with this that will help me to where I'm not stretching the fabric or making it pucker when I embroider on it. So if you're using something like sweatshirt material, I would try to steer away from something that's too stretchy. The other material that I really like to work on is denim. I think denim is perfect to embroider on and it doesn't require much prep to do it. You can just embroider directly on it and you don't really have to use a stabilizer depending on the weight of, it, of the fabric. The next material that you can embroider on, but I would say it's a little bit more difficult, is t-shirt material. I don't really like to embroider on t-shirt material, especially if it's a super detailed piece. This is extremely stretchy and it's thin, so sometimes your embroidery won't turn out as nice. So if you're using this, I would highly suggest using a stabilizer. Okay, so my next favorite fabric is linen. I think linen is beautiful and I like to embroider on linen in the hoop. So naturally, I think linen is great to embroider on. This shirt is 100% linen. There is no stretch to it. As you can see, the um, weave is really beautiful on it. It's even and I really want to embroider on this shirt in the future. I think it'll turn out really nice. Some fabrics that I would avoid embroidering on would be things that, like I said, are extremely stretchy, things that are extremely fragile, like silk, um, things of that nature are not ideal to embroider on. You can get away with it, but silk also kind of leaves permanent holes when you poke holes in them. It's not as forgiving of a fabric. So real quick, I just wanted to go over what I would do for each fabric. So if you're using denim, like I said, you really don't need a stabilizer. I would, however, if you're gonna embroider on a pocket and you know how to sew, I would say get a seam ripper and seam rip the pocket out and embroider on the pocket and then put it back on. I actually didn't do that for this shirt. It is doable and I didn't go all the way through as you can see, but it's hard to do that and it's just like very inconvenient. You can embroider directly through to the back if you'd like, if you don't want to use the pocket. But if you do want to use a pocket and you are embroidering on a denim pocket, definitely have a seam ripper on hand and then um, use your sewing machine to reattach the pocket. Um, for stabilizers, you don't really need them. Um, I would say just using a water soluble pencil to transfer your design or use something like Solvi water soluble stencil, which I will go over in just a little while. This stuff you can draw directly on it, put it in the hoop on the fabric, and embroider the um, design on like that. I think it's easier to transfer designs this way, especially for fabric that's dark. For linen, I would say the exact same thing for this. You can use a water soluble marker or use the Solvi stencil for it. There really isn't a need to have a stabilizer with linen. It's not stretchy and it's kind of a medium weight fabric so it shouldn't pucker. Um, so I think that this fabric is really ideal, especially if you have limited supplies on hand and you want to embroider on some clothing. For a t-shirt material, I would highly recommend using a stabilizer, just sticking it on the inside and then transferring your design and stitching it that way. Um, this material is so stretchy that you're going to end up puckering the shirt and it's going to be kind of, the design's going to get warped if you don't use some sort of stabilizer on it. So I quickly wanted to go over some basic supplies that you'll need to embroider on a piece of clothing. You will need some embroidery thread, an embroidery scissors, some way that you can transfer your design over, which I will go over a couple of different ones that you can use, and you'll need an embroidery hoop. 
I highly recommend using an embroidery hoop. I think it's really hard to embroider clothing not in a hoop because it won't stretch the fabric tight and you'll end up warping the fabric or the design. So definitely have an embroidery hoop your size of choice on hand. So there's a couple of different ways that you can transfer your embroidery to your fabric that I think are easiest for stitching on clothing. So the first way is what I use for a lot of different things, which is to use a blue water soluble marker. This does wash out with water and it comes all the way off. I'll link this brand below in the description if you're interested in it. The only downside to this is it's going to be really hard to trace on to the fabric with clothing. Um, just the excess fabric and sometimes if the clothing is darker it's going to be hard to um, see the design that you want to transfer so this would only be if you're going to like hand draw something on without a design um, before you do it the next way that i would say that i use most of the time is the super solvy water soluble stabilizer i use the medium weight there's a lightweight one but it tears really easily I find that the medium weight is enough to where it doesn't tear. Um, it's not really a stabilizer, like it doesn't really help stabilize the fabric. It's just that you can put this on top of the fabric and transfer your design over. This is what it looks like in the hoop. Um, it's thin, but it's really strong, like it's not going to tear. And I use microns and it's transparent so you can just trace over the design that you want onto the um, sulky. So I really like this stuff and later on in the video I'll show you how I transfer it and put it onto the fabric. The next way that you can use is with these um, stick and stitch printable papers. So if you have a stencil that's a PDF and you want to print it, you can actually put these, they are A4 sheets, you can put these in your printer and print off the design as you can see in the picture. And I will open them up really quick to show you. This is what it looks like. You can cut it and then this peels off and sticks on. I like this because it is um, washable, so you can actually wash this out of the fabric. It dissolves with water. The only downside to the Solvi and with the stick and stitch is that the fabric can be a little bit stiff initially after you wash it out. The final way that you can transfer designs onto fabric that you're gonna clothing that you want to embroider is with the sterile paper this stuff is basically chalk paper they also have graphite i don't like the graphite as much though so i'm only recommending this paper for something that is like a dark fabric and you don't have something like the super solvy or the stick and stitch and you'd like to try this um, it's basically um, it transfers the design over you put it on top of the fabric and then trace your design and it leaves the chalk onto the fabric um, it does smudge slightly but it actually stays on surprisingly better than I thought it would I've definitely tried it out before and it's not my favorite way but it definitely works so I wanted to talk about stabilizers very briefly I have this pellin and it is um, a stick and tear away it does not dissolve but it tears away really easily when you're done with your design um, I use this stuff on the back of fabrics that are really fragile or that they're stretchy anything that is going to end up um, making it harder for you to stitch on so I put this underneath in the inside of the fabric and then sandwich my stencil on top of the fabric so you have two different layers on top on the fabric and this stuff works really well there's a bunch of different kinds of brands so it's really personal preference at that point but I really like this um, Pellin uh, stick and tear away so now I just wanted to show you how I would set up an embroidery design and transfer it onto the fabric so I'm gonna use my method of choice which is this silky silky solvy um, water soluble stabilizer this is how i do all of my pet portraits i normally use this stuff i have the design that i have um, stenciled out in procreate um, you don't obviously have to use procreate but whatever design you'd like to have on hand print it out or on your ipad and then i basically hoop the stabilizer by itself in the hoop so i can see through it and then i flip the um, hoop upside down and place it onto 
the surface that you want to trace. And then I'm using just like a micron, I think it's like a medium size, like 0 0.08. And I transfer my, my embroidery pattern over to the stabilizer. I don't like to use other markers because when you wash away this, sometimes the marker will bleed. And I've, I've noticed that with the microns, they don't bleed. Like I normally will tear away the rest of the excess stabilizer at the end. And sometimes there's a little bit of a stencil showing from behind and they never seem to bleed onto the fabric. So if you're gonna use this, I would highly recommend using something that's permanent like Micron and not another kind of marker that might bleed onto the fabric when you wash it off. So I'm just going to trace this design onto my stabilizer. All right, so I'm done tracing my design. Now I'm going to take my Pellin stabilizer and I'm gonna cut this exact same size, a little bit of a margin, just to kind of give myself some extra room for this sweatshirt because it is kind of stretchy. So I'm going to put this on the back of the sweatshirt. So that should fit perfectly with my design. And now I'm going to move my iPad here and take my sweatshirt and I'm going to lay it out to where I can see everything so I can figure out placement. So I'm gonna be doing it on the left chest. So I'm gonna kinda of like move it around a little bit, see where I like it. I think it would look pretty good right there. I don't want it to be a, too far over or too high up. I think that's pretty good. So I just peeled the stabilizer away here and I'm going to try and place this inside underneath the fabric. And luckily this stuff doesn't, once you stick it on, it can come off pretty easily and you can reuse it. So if you need to reposition, it's really not a big deal. I'm kind of guessing <laughs> a little bit as to where this is. And I'm gonna like kind of smooth out these air bubbles. Yeah, I think that's, I might need to go over just a little bit. As you can see, it, it sticks really easily, but it also is pretty forgiving and sticks or er, and comes off. Okay, so you can kind of feel like where the stabilizer is, and I like that positioning. So now I'm going to take this, take it out of the hoop, and put this onto the fabric. Make sure I'm, I've got it on top of the stabilizer. Take my inner hoop and I'm gonna hoop it up carefully. And it just kind of takes some finagling to make sure that you are happy with where it's at. I need to go up a little bit. Yeah, I think that's good. So I'm gonna put this, loosen the hoop up. The other um, tip that I wanted to go over too, get your embroidery super loose. Don't try to push it on there because you're gonna stretch the stencil and the fabric and it's gonna warp it. So you wanna be kind of gentle when you put this into the hoop. Um, you want it to kind of just like pop over. See how it stretches a little bit? If it's too tight, you're just gonna really stretch the fabric and the stencil and it's gonna distort it. So once you are happy with that, kind of make sure that the fabric is tight, but not overly tight if it's stretchy. And then I'm gonna tighten my hoop up so it doesn't slip. This Pellin stabilizer and this Solvi is really easy to stitch through, which is why I highly recommend it for hand embroidery because there are some stabilizers that are a little bit thicker that are gonna be hard for you to poke the needle through. When you're done with your design, you can take the hoop off tear off the ex excess fabric 
um, stabilizer. This Solvi stabilizer tears really easily once you have embroidered like a large area. It just kind of perforates it. So this will peel off and then you can tear off the back stabilizer and it should just be around the design at that point. And then you can run this um, water soluble stabilizer under water and kind of rub it and it will come off super easily. And then you just allow it to air dry. I wanted to kind of quickly go over some care of your embroidered clothing. So I always use DMC threads because they are color fast, but you don't want to excessively wash anything that has a ton of embroidery on it. And if you do wash it, I would say try to wash it with um, like a gentle and a gentle wash or you can if it's on something that's not something you wear every day I would recommend spot cleaning it instead of tossing it in the wash but I would say hand washing or gentle cycle washing would be the best way to wash these things and then air drying or low tumble drying DMC floss is pretty good about not fraying too much but it is cotton and it is delicate so if you put it in the dryer too much it will fray or some of the stitches might come out the other thing I did want to mention as well is obviously like knotting everything that you embroider some people will tuck their threads behind other threads and obviously if you're gonna put it on something that's gonna be worn you want to knot it instead so it's really secure so make sure to I like to double knot everything when I embroider on clothing so those are just a couple of tips. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. This was just kind of a quick tutorial because I felt like I've used enough of these products to know kind of what I like to use. So definitely give some of the products a shot. I will link all of them in the description of this video so you can take a look and try them out yourself if you're looking to embroider on some clothing. I'm actually in the process right now of designing some stencils with that stick and wash away um, stabilizer that I have. At this point, once this video comes out, I will have them in my Etsy shop for sale. So if you're interested in purchasing that and having some stencils to embroider on, then um, I will leave the link below. And yeah, just let me know how you like this video. All right, thank you.